Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Hello, Gabby. I'm teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And you? How are you today? I'm fine, too. Okay. It's great to hear that. Me too. Uh, you're welcome. Let's wait for your classmates. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, I'm ready. I was checking on something. Hi, Jorge. How are you today? Fine. But fine. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm tired. Really? Yes, I can imagine, you know. Same here, same here, you know. Today, it has been a very busy morning. So, really? Yes, imagine. But I'm here, I'm ready to be with you guys for this class, so I'm really happy to see you. Hi, Glenda. How are you? Hi, Peter. Hi. Okay, how about Josue? Is Josue there? Hello, Josue. Hi, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine. You're fine. It's really happy. You're really happy today. Okay, so it's one o'clock. Time to start with this class. Hopefully, your classmates are going to join this session in a moment, okay? Let's start already. Class number. This is class number two, right? Class number two. Class number two, imagine. We are already in class number two. Today, we are going to work in the platform. So be ready. You can go to the platform and go to section number one, okay? Because we're going to be working on those exercises. Look, section number one. How often do you exercise? That is the question that we were using and discussing yesterday. And today we are going to finish with the activities uh, related to adverse of frequency. And then at the end of the class, we are going to move to these questions, questions with how. And as you may see, whenever we have questions, we need to have answers. So we are going to practice making questions with how and giving short answers. So this is the pre-intermediate two course and this is class number two. Are we ready to start today? Yes or no? Estamos listos para empezar. Are we ready to start? Yes or no? No, teacher, you say, say yes. Yes, yes, we're ready. We're ready. We're tired. I know. I know you're tired. Sometimes it is very difficult, you know. But let's make this effort, you know. It's going to be um, valuable at the end of this course. Va a ser invaluable lo que están haciendo. Now I can see Ellen Nilsson. Hi, Ellen Nilsson. How are you today? <clears throat> Good job. Thanks. I feel very great. You feel great today. Okay. So, empecemos. Look, do you remember um, that yesterday we were practicing with time expressions and adverbs of frequency? So, I have an exercise right here that I want you to complete with me, but just give me one second, okay? I need to plug in my computer. Se me está descargando la laptop, solo la conecto. Just give me one second, okay? Mi
Okay, I'm back and I'm ready. So I was mentioning that I have an exercise that we are going to complete today. And this is the exercise that I have. Look, if you want to remember about the structure or how do we use adverbs of frequency in a sentence, this information is very important, okay? Look, we have some information here about the most common adverbs of frequency. Most common adverbs of frequency. So who can help me out to read this information so you can practice your pronunciation? Volunteers to read this information. Just one, please. Teacher, sorry, uh, the text or the letter A? No, the information that we have, the box of information, like a person in blue. Let me put uh, it in a different color. Yes, this one. Okay. Um, adverse of frequency usually go before the neighbors. Always, almost always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, almost. Never, never. She never eats breakfast. I almost always have tea in the morning. And sometimes can also begin a sentence. And sometimes I eat broccoli. Okay, thank you, Gabby. So as you may see, this is the same information that we were presenting yesterday. Adverse of frequency usually go before the main verb. What do you think? Why it is expressing usually? ¿Por qué creen que dice usually go before? Y no dice always go before the main verb. Any idea? Why? Why do you think it is using the expression usually? ¿Será que hay alguna regla que nos dice que hay algo que cambia y que no todos los adverbs of frequency go before the main verb? ¿Habrá alguna exclusión, alguna, algo que nos permite identificar? ¿Se acuerdan lo que hablamos ayer? Not all the adverbs of frequency go before the main verb. No todos los adverbs of frequency van antes del verbo. ¿Por qué? ¿Cuál es nuestra única, eh, en este caso, el que no aplica la regla? Which is the one that we are going to use different in this case? Sometimes, okay? With the rest of the adverbs of frequency, of course, you are going to have, look, the adverb of frequency before the main verb. But be careful, in the case of sometimes, you can have this adverb of frequency at the beginning, at the end of the sentence, or you can also have it after the main verb. So that's why it is saying usually go before the main verb. Right, so now being said this information, I need you to express the same idea as in the conversation, but this time using the adverse of frequency. If you see, this is a conversation between A and B. So what are we going to do? We are going to rewrite. In this case, we are going to Say it again, the same ideas, but we are going to include the adverbs of frequency that are in parentheses at the end of the sentence. Okay, for example, number one, look at this question. Where do you have lunch? Where do you have lunch? Ah, but I want you to include the adverb usually. ¿En dónde incluiríamos entonces el adverb of frequency? 
según nuestra regla, la información de arriba. Antes o después del verbo. Look. Before the main verb. Before the main verb. Okay, so where do you usually have lunch? Look, here I have the verb. So I can place the average of frequency before. Vamos a ver. Number two or letter B is for Jorge, please. Go ahead, please. With number two or continue the conversation, please. B, letter B is for you. This one. I, I often go to a restaurant near work. Okay, what do you think, class? Do you agree or would you make a change? I often go to a restaurant near work. What do you think? What is your opinion, class? Do you agree or disagree? Let me listen to you. It's okay. It's okay? I often it's okay. go. It's okay because if you see the main verb in this sentence is go. So that's okay. I often go. Eden Nielsen, can you continue with the conversation, please? Letter A. Letter A. Yes, this one. Do you eat at your desk? Okay, now make the sentence or make the question using ever, please. Do you eat ever at your desk? Okay, what do you think, class? Do you it's eat? Okay. It's okay. Do you eat ever at your desk? What do you think? I think is do you ever eat? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué dijimos? ¿En dónde va el adverb of frequency? Antes o después del verbo? Before or after the main verb, Ellen Wilson, where, where does it go? Eh, va antes, do you? Ah, entonces ever sería. Eat? So, yes. There yes. we go. This is the correction that I was expecting for you to do. Thank you. Do you ever? Great job. And excellent. Janira, how about the next one? Letter B is for you. Hi, teacher. Uh, okay, no, hi. I hardly ever stay in for lunch. Okay, no, I hardly ever stay in for lunch. Is that okay mm -hmm. or not, class? What do you think? I hardly ever... Mm -hmm. Look, you know I'm having troubles with my keywords. Hardly ever stay. Hardly. Hardly. Mm -hmm. yes. stay. Very fast is crying. <laughs> I'm not gonna be typing today, you Before know. Lunch. That's okay. That's okay. You know. That's okay. Está muy bien, Yanira. I hardly ever. Thank you. I don't know what's going on with my keyboard. Mi teclado está fallando. So I hardly ever, that's okay. Very good job. No, I hardly ever stay in for lunch. That's okay. What is the main verb? The main verb in this case is stay, stay. Very good job. Carlos, go ahead and continue, please. It's okay. Uh... <laughs> In this case, is um, what do you usually and um, mm -hmm. what what do you usually? 
Ha. Okay. So what is the main verb in this sentence? For me? Yes. Uh, have. That's okay. That is the verb. Because remember that we have this expression, do. But this is not a verb. This is an auxiliary. So yes. This is the main verb in the sentence. So uh, before that, we are going to include usually. Great job, Carlos. And what do you usually have? What do you usually have? That's okay. Let's continue with letter B. We still have letter B and letter A. Ivania, continue. And the last one is for Glenda. Go, please. Okay. I always have soup or a salad. That's it, right? What is the main verb in this sentence? Have. Have, so that's right. I always have soup or a salad. Very good job. Glenda, how about you? Try to finish with the conversation. Me too. I have never a big lunch. Okay, I have never. What is the main verb in the sentence, Glenda? ¿Cómo? What is the verb, el verbo principal en la, en la oración? How? What is the main verb? How? Ah, entonces, ¿en dónde va never? Sería, I have never or I never have. I have never. Ok. No. ¿Qué dice nuestra regla? Veamos. Después. ¿No? Before, before, before the... es antes. Before antes. Oh, es antes. Ahí, ahí me confundí. Okay, don't worry. So, before is antes. Okay, antes, okay. So, can you repeat, please? Entonces, I, me, too, me too, I never have a big lunch. That's it. Me too, I never have a big lunch. Very good job. Questions about this. Preguntas sobre esto. Questions about adverse of frequency. No questions. You know, it is quite easy to use adverse of frequency, but in the case that you want to continue practicing, I'm going to send you a picture. You can go and check WhatsApp right now. So you can have this extra information, you know, about adverse of frequency. If you want to have like an idea or when you are going to use adverse of frequency, this is a great example, look. Look, si quieren tener como un porcentaje específico de cuándo voy a ocupar el adverse of frequency, aquí hay un ejemplo claro and you have some examples. So, look, I have some other examples. Los que no hemos visto en clase, for example, this one, seldom. Casi no se usa, pero si es un adverse of frequency. Occasionally, sometimes, never. So, this is going to be very helpful, you know? So keep on practicing. Let's go to the platform to see what we have there. Let me see, where is the platform? Vamos a la plataforma, chicos. Let's go and let's see what we have there. Okay, here we go. Where is it? It's right here. Just give me a second, okay? Okay, here we go. Okay, section number one. Oh no, this is not yours. Yes, section, how often do you exercise? Yes, aquí vamos, section one. Let's go back and let's see, here we go. This is the first knowledge check that we have or the first homework. And as you may see, we have time expressions and also we have adverse of frequency. Como completamos, veamos, number one, Guadalupe, 
what is your opinion about number one? This is a question. Do you play sports? ¿En dónde podemos incluir ever in this question? Do you play sports? ¿En dónde va a ir esa palabra? Do you play sports? Ever. Uh, do you ever play a sport? Mm -hmm. What do you think, class? Yes? yes. No? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, porque tenemos el verbo play. Y tiene que ir antes del verbo. Very good job. Do you ever play sports? Sure, I play soccer. And then we have the time expression twice a week, twice a week, okay? Lorena, what is your opinion about number two? Uh, sure, uh, I twice a week play mm -hmm. soccer. ¿Se acuerdan de las reglas, chicos? En el caso de los adverbs of frequency, sí si iban después del después verbo, del, pero del verbo. si se fijan las expresiones de tiempo siempre van al, al final, al final. Al final. Mm -hmm. Así que para que no sí. tengamos ese problema, siempre van al final. They go at the end. So, sure, I play soccer. One, Entonces two, sería three. La, sería la tres. Yes. Sure, I play soccer. Twice a week. Very Twice good job. Week. Gracias. Ok, Josué. ¿Qué tenemos acá, Josué? ¿Será ese un adverb of frequency o es una time expression? What is this? Number three. Eh, sería de frequency. Ajá, exacto. Es un adverbio de frecuencia. ¿Y qué dice nuestra regla? ¿Que va antes o después del verbo? ¿It goes after or before the main verb? Uh, number one. Ok. What do you usually do on Saturday? Ok. What do you usually do on Saturday morning? Mm, yes. That's ok. Very good job. Porque tenemos el verbo do. Tiene que ir antes del verbo. Great job. Great job. Let me see. Let's continue with Rita and then let me have Alberto with number five. Okay. Continue with the conversation, Rita. Uh, number four. Yes, number four is for you. Oh, okay. Um, I sleep on the room, so much Mm -hmm. We have two sentences. Sentence number one, it's okay. Oh, number, um, so this is the sentence that you need to. Answer number two. Options. Okay. Primero identifiquemos. ¿Será ese un advert of frequency o es una time expression? ¿Qué será, Rita? What is this? Um, time expression. Mm, ¿Dice? I'm sorry, I didn't hear. No. Frequency. It's an adverb. It's an adverb of frequency. Other frequency. Yeah, it's an adverb of frequency. Entonces, ¿cuál es el verbo acá? Look. Uh, sleep. Ah, entonces, ¿cuál es la respuesta? One, two, or three. Uh, number two. Number two. two. There mm -hmm. we go. Look, yes. Mm -hmm. I almost always. And then we have? The verb sleep. Very good job. Number five, Alberto. Try making this question, please. Do you do aerobics at the gym? And then we have the expression, well, the adverb of frequency often. Go, please. Is it your microphone or is it only me that I cannot hear him? Microphone. I guess it's the microphone, right? So, yes, because he's trying to speak, but I cannot hear. So, Ellen Nielsen, help me out then. Hello. <laughs> oh, there you are. 
Alberto number five and Elenilson number six. Go please. Okay. Uh, <laughs> my, uh, sería la opción, do you often do aerobics at the gym? Which is the one? One, two or three? Two. What do you think, class? Do you agree on this one? Do you often? ¿Cuál sería el verbo principal acá en esta pregunta? Look. Do. So that's do. right. Mm -hmm. Va antes del verbo. Very good job. Ellen Nielsen, go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, no, I hardly ever do aerobic. So uh, it's number three, three right? That's right. Muy bien. Because we have the verb. So before the verb, we need to include the expression hardly ever. I'm still missing number seven and number eight. Ivania, go ahead with number seven. Number eight is for Gabriela, please. Go, seven. Seven for me. Yes, that's for you. Okay. Um, do you always exercise on Sundays? Mm -hmm. Is the first option. That's right. Very good job. Number eight. Gabriela. Um, no, I never exercise on Sundays. There we go. I two. never. Number two, right? That's right, because we have the main verb, exercise. So before of that verb, we need to place the other of frequency. And I'm still missing number nine and 10, volunteers. Because I guess all of you already participated, right? Creo que todos participaron, let me see. Ruth. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> yes. La vi con intención de participar. Go please. Number sí, nine. Sí, estaba con esa intención, pero como no me dice nada. <laughs> yeah, sí, no, no, lo que pasa es que cuando comparto pantalla solo veo tres camaritas. Uh, por uh, eso no los veo a todos. So. Yes. Uh, Go please. <laughs> Number nine. I go out with my plasma. Ok. Está haciendo la número diez. Vamos. Number uh, ten. Vamos. I go out with my classmates. Ruth, ¿qué será esto? ¿Será un adverb of frequency or a time expression? ¿Qué será esto? Time expression or adverb of frequency. Uh, time expression. Muy bien. Entonces, ¿en dónde ubicamos las time expressions? ¿A dónde van las time expressions? Uh, two. Uh -huh. Van antes del verbo o al final de la oración? Uh -huh. Go, please try. Después. Ajá. Uh -huh. So, what is the correct one? Number one, number uh, two, three. or number three? Three. Number three. There we go. Excellent job. I go out with my classmates about three times a week. How about number nine class? What do you no. do after class? Number one, what do you usually do yeah. after class? After class. Let's yeah. see, LA. let's see, let's see. Yeah. That's right, you see? So all of the exercises are correct. There we go. Questions about this exercise. Nos queda claro entonces. En donde vamos a poner los adverbs of frequency y en donde vamos a poner Last time expressions, si ¿Sí queda clara esa parte, is clear? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, I hope so. Espero que más o menos. Que claro. <laughs> ¿Qué yes. parte nos cuesta, Elena? Más o menos, pues. <laughs> Teacher, lo que eh, dónde identificar es lo más que. O sea, identificar dónde, qué parte. Eh, ¿Dónde se va a usar eh, por lo Ejemplo, vamos a usar el eh, always, never, usually. Ah, ok. Ajá. Si se fijan en la que les compartí en WhatsApp, no tengo una idea más clara, creo que más acertada. Esa, de cuándo lo vamos a utilizar. Acuérdense que hablamos de frecuencia, que tan frecuente hacemos una actividad. Ok. 
En este caso, creo que depende de la actividad. Por ejemplo, si yo les digo, how often, que tan seguido, how often do you take a shower? How often do you take a shower class? Que tan seguido se bañan. How often do you take a shower? ¿Cuál usaríamos? The miss adverse of frequency in this chart. I always. Okay, I always no take a shower, teacher. <laughs> Exacto, no sé mis compañeros. I don't know, Iván. <laughs> Ajá. Solo si llueve, teacher. You know? solo, solo los fines de semana. <risa> Entonces, ¿cuál sería? Si solo son los fines de semana, ¿cuál usaría? Cultura francesa. Ah, mentira. Ah, come on, but we are in El Salvador. Cultura francesa. So, imagínense. How often do you drink water? ¿Qué tan seguido toman agua? How often do you drink water? Uh -huh. En un día, digamos. In a day. En un día. In a normal day. In my case, I can say that, yes, I often, or I frequently drink water because I forget to drink water. So, imagine. Let me make another question. Les hago otra pregunta para que practiquemos. How often do you, often do you, esta es mi pregunta. Y les agrego ejemplos. How often do you, Check your cell phone in a day. How often do you check your cell phone in a day? En un día. ¿Qué tan seguido revisan su teléfono en un día? I always check my cell phone. I usually check my cell phone. Usually. Ah, okay, I usually. And be honest, please. Seamos honestos. How often do you check your social media, your Facebook, your WhatsApp, YouTube? How often do you check social media? Ivania. Mm, I normally. Okay, I normally, me gusta. Glenda, how often do you check your cell phone every day? Oh, in my case, normally. Ok, normally, ya ven, depende de la información de cada quien, así damos la frecuencia. How often, déjenme preguntarles algo más. How often do you save money? You know, for emergencies. How often do you save money? Gaby? I occasionally. Occasionally. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. I occasionally save money. ¿Qué tan seguido guardan dinero? Oh, preguntemos lo opuesto. Spend money. My case never. ¿Qué tan seguido gastan dinero que no tienen que gastar? ¿Ok? Porque me lo merezco. Dicen. <ríe> me lo merezco y esa es nuestra excusa para gastar. Right now. Ellen Nielsen, how often? Do you spend money? En cosas que no son necesarias. Déjenme aclarar. How often do you spend money in unnecessary things? Eh, sería o, o, en ocasiones, o, perdón, ¿cómo es? Occasionally? Ah, sí, perfecto. Occasionally. Será, sí. ¿Quién le cree clase? <laughs> I don't think so. Mm. Yeah, right, so probably, right? Muy buen administrador de dinero. Otra pregunta, how often do you, algo que no hagan tan seguido, how often do you read the newspaper? Leen el diario, read the newspaper. Never. Never. Ah, you see, I never, because we have social media, tenemos información en el teléfono, ya no en in, in a paper, you know? So I never, I never. I occasionally. I occasionally check it. You know? Yo lo <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, interesting. So you see, 
adverse of frequency. Sirven para expresar frecuencia en actividades que hacemos no a diario, pero frecuentemente. Right. Let's move on. Vamos al siguiente tema. No more adverse of frequency. Now we're going to cover, in this case, a conversation. A conversation about, well, let's find out. You're going to see what it's about. Look. It's between Ruth and Kate. Here we go. In this class, you will listen and follow a conversation about physical skills. Hi, everyone. Are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time, we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, let's go back to the conversation so we can listen again. There In this we class, you will listen and follow a conversation about physical skills. Hi, everyone. Are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time, we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh. Do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, that is the information again. I'm a real... Everyone, are you ready to listen to another conversation? Fitness freak. Fitness freak. Do you know the meaning of this ad adjective? ¿Qué será ese adjetivo? Freak. Freak. Fitness freak. What is it about? ¿Qué se trata ese adjetivo? It's similar, crazy. It's similar of crazy, es verdad. So, ¿qué ejemplos pueden darme con freak? What do you consider you are freak about? Algo que les obsesione. Comer. Uh -huh. Comer. So, are you food freak? <laughs> Pero eso sería como algo, no creo que, bueno, pongámoslo, food freak. Ah, oh, my keyboard. Es como stuff. obsesionado con eso. O es algo obsesionado, así. sí, es una obsesión, obsesión. Esta también existe, miren, shopping. Comprar ropa. Shopping freak, esto sí existe, you know. Wow, shopping freak. ¿Qué más? Technology. Hay gente que es obsesionada con... You know, technology, and they need to have every item, you know? So food freak, shopping freak, but in his case, he is a real fitness freak. Do we have a fitness freak in this class? ¿Será que tenemos algún fitness freak in this class? No? Obsesionado con el ejercicio. Yes. Do we? Who is it? Is Eden it you, Nilsson. Jorge? Eden Nilsson, what do you think? Are you a fitness freak? No, teacher. Glenda. No? Glenda, are you a fitness freak? You know, but this is not bad. Esto no es algo malo en sí. No, al contrario, sí. Ya fuera otra categoría, tal vez. Pero es fitness, you know? Is healthy, so Volviendo I a, la, mm -hmm. a lo que nos está enseñando, le diría always. Okay. <laughs> es como en sí no lo tomemos como mal cuando digo obsesionado, sino eh, está demasiado involucrado. Okay, en este caso con el fitness. 
I need to exercise every day. I need to eat healthy. So that's why we call them freak. Pero solo que nos quede idea que es freak. Very good job. Look, Ruth and Kate. You're in a great shape, Kate. ¿Se acuerdan qué significaba esto? In a great shape. What is this? Creo que en la conversación de ayer también lo teníamos. In great shape. ¿Qué es shape? What is the meaning of shape? Es figura. Miren esta picture. Look at this picture. ¿Qué piensan de Kate? ¿Será que él está en a great shape or not? I guess, right? I guess he is. So you're in a great shape, Kate. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. Look, aquí ocupamos nuevamente la expresión I guess. Creería, o yo creo que soy un verdadero como obsesionado o en este caso que le gusta el fitness. How often do you work out? Look at this one. This is a phrasal verb. What is the meaning of work out? ¿Qué es esto? Work out. ¿Cómo hacer pesas o algo así? Para el trabajo. Okay. Saben que este es un verbo, se llama phrasal verbs que es un sinónimo para decir exercise. Bueno, el teclado, no me reconoce algunas letras, lo siento. Exercise, es lo mismo. Si ustedes dicen, I am working out, me estoy ejercitando. I am exercising, me estoy ejercitando. So, pueden usar esto, work out or exercise. Es el mismo significado, ok? Work out or exercise. And then it says, How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics. Listen, aerobics twice a week. I do aerobics twice a week. And I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play some time? Si se fijan acá, esta no incluye la S al final. Sometime. No es en sí un adverbio de frecuencia. Ya vieron, no está antes del verbo incluso. Sometime ya no es un adverbio de frecuencia. ¿Ok? Con S sí es un adverbio de frecuencia. En este caso significaría, ¿quieres jugar algún día o alguna vez? So, do you want to play sometime? Oh, how well do you play? Qué tan bueno o qué tan bueno eres para jugar. How well do you play? Pretty well. Pretty well. Okay, I guess. Well, all right. But I'm not very good. I'm not very good. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo termina la conversación? I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. So this is a conversation about. This is a conversation. Talking about exercising. So questions about vocabulary, pronunciation in this example. Sí, teacher, no me queda claro lo que es great shape. Muy bien. Eh, se refiere más que todo en forma en buena figura y está hablando del cuerpo, en buena, en great shape. Por ejemplo, si se fijan aquí, eh, ¿qué podemos decir de Kate? ¿Será que se le notan los músculos? ¿Está definido? Look. Yes. So, podemos decir que está en una great shape. Incluso en esta de abajo, en muy buena figura. Es bien literal esa traducción. Great es buena, in shape es figura refiriéndose al cuerpo. Are you in a great shape class? ¿Qué piensan de ustedes mismos? Are you in a great shape? Yes or no? Or you are working to have a great shape. Estaremos trabajando para tener una great shape. 
Yes. In my case, yes, I'm, I'm working out every day, you know? No, not every day, like twice a week. Así que de eso se trata la conversación. I'm a real fitness freak. Let me see, let me have two volunteers para practicar la pronunciación. Two volunteers to read the conversation. Here we go. Who wants to no. practice? Okay. Eden Nilsson, pick one of your classmates. Usted elige quién participa. ¿Quién más participa? Ok. Rita. Ok, so Eden Nilsson and Rita are going to participate right now. Go, please. Vaya, Rita Ruth. Start. Yo, Ruth. <laughs> y ahí estaba Ruth también. Okay. Ahí estaba Ruth, ¿eh? <laughs> Pensé que le iban a elegir. Podemos no. cambiar. <laughs> Se me ha escondido ahorita, Pero Ruth. Empieza, empieza okay. con R, Rita. <laughs> Vaya, está bien. Está bien está Cuatro letras. <laughs> Go, please. Ok, you are in the great shape. Thanks. I guess I am real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Do you work that? Oh, well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Um, do you want to play sometime? Oh, how, how well do you play it? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I am not very good. No problem. I will give you a few tips. There we go. Great pronunciation. Creo que la última parte no la revisamos. ¿Qué será esto? I'll give you a few tips. ¿A qué se refiere Kate? I'll give como, you a few tips. ¿Qué serán los tips? Como truquitos. Ajá, muy bien. Few es algunos. Algunos como consejos, trucos para que sea eh, mejor jugando al tenis. There we go. Few tips. Bien, vamos a practicar esta conversación en parejas. I, I'm going to give you a couple of times so you can practice the conversation. Please, ya se las envío a WhatsApp, but right now go with your classmates. Practiquemos ambas partes. Uno va a ser Ruth and the other Kate. Cuando terminen, cambian de rol para que puedan repasar ambas partes. Ok, here we go. Go class. Ya se los envío a WhatsApp. Okay. Go with your classmates, please. I'm just missing Gabby in Eden Nielsen. Okay, great job. Okay, there we go. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, Hoy, ahora usted. Yo empiezo, vaya Lord. You're in great shape, Kate. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fine freak. How often do you work out? Work out? Well, I'll 
I do aerobic sweats a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, sí, go out. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Ooh, how well do you play? Pretty, pretty well, I wish. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll help you a few tips. Vaya, otra vez. Oye usted. You're in great shape, Kate. Thanks. I guess I am a real, a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. What? Sound like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I am not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Otra vez, al revés. You're in great shape, Kate. Okay. But thanks. I guess um, I am real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do. Uh, well, I do aerobics tweet a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis does sound like a lot of fun. Fun. Um, oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, how will do you play? <laughs> Very well, I guess. Well, I'll ring good. I'll write. I am, I'll, I'll write good. But? But I am not very good. Uh -huh. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay. Thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. I guess you, you had time to practice twice, to practice the pronunciation. I was listening to your pronunciation. It was great, you know? Eso es lo bueno que practiquen pronunciation. Un par de correcciones a algunos, okay? Pero estamos muy bien. Remember to practice. Una de las formas en que podemos mejorar nuestra pronunciación es leyendo en voz alta, okay? Cualquier texto en inglés, léanlo en voz alta. Try to read it out loud. Así se acostumbran a pronunciar. Excellent. I'm a great fitness freak. Look, after that, en esa expresión, en esa conversation, teníamos una expresión. How well do you play tennis? No vamos a terminar con este tema ahora, sino que tomorrow. Pero vámonos a esta parte, miren. How well do you play tennis? Si se fijan, ¿qué parte de...? Bueno, perdón. Eh, ¿Qué expresiones estamos usando en esta, en esta parte? Questions with how. Preguntas con how. En este caso, la vamos a combinar con cuatro diferentes expresiones. Right. Es cierto, hay muchas más expresiones con how, but in this opportunity, we are just going to cover four different questions. ¿Para qué nos va a servir esto? Para averiguar información específica de qué tan 
frecuente, que tan bien hacemos algo y por, por cuánto tiempo lo hacemos. Veamos el video. Here we go. In this session, participants will watch and study questions with how and to give short answers. Hello, everyone. We will go over four important questions we can ask in order to know frequency and performance. Notice all questions begin with how. Pay attention. Questions with how. Short answers. How often do you work out? Every day. Twice a week. Not very often. How long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes a day. Two hours a week. About an hour on weekends. How well do you play tennis? Pretty well. About average. Not very well. How good are you at sports? Pretty good. Okay. Not so good. How? How often? How long? They refer to times or frequency. How well? How good? They refer to performance. How often do you go to English class? How long do you spend at school? How well do you speak English? How good are you at speaking English? Please answer these questions on our discussion box. Okay, how often? Can ask how in long? Order to know frequency. Vale, si se fijan, tenemos dos grupos. We have two groups of questions or two similar categories. La primera categoría, these two examples, they are asking about frequency. ¿Qué tan frecuente hacemos algo? Esta ya la repasamos bastante. How often? ¿Qué tan frecuente hacemos algo? Y miren esta. How long? ¿Qué tanto tiempo? ¿Qué tan seguido? ¿Qué tanto tiempo hacemos algo? How often do you work out? How long? Do you spend at the gym? Quedémonos con estas dos para preguntar frequency, frecuencia. Look at examples. How often do you work out? In this case, como estamos dando respuestas cortas, ya no nos vamos a crear toda la oración con el adverbio de frecuencia, porque ahí sí nos veríamos obligados a usar toda la oración. Ay, always exercise, I always work out. Es una oración completa. Pero como queremos dar, en este caso, short answers only. We are going to practice giving short answers. That's why we are going to use time expressions. Okay? Por eso vamos a ocupar time expressions. How often do you work out? Every day. How often do you work out? Twice a week. How often do you work out? Not every often. Miren time expressions. Practiquemos antes de finalizar la clase. Time expressions con how often. How often do you go to the supermarket class? Usemos cualquiera de estas tres expresiones. How often do you go to the supermarket? Every day, twice a week or not very often? Twice a, a month. Twice a month. Wow, twice a month. Really? Yes. I, I cannot do that, you know. Dos veces al mes. Wow. That's a lot. I always go, I, I go every week, you know. So four times a week. Very good job. How often do you go to the doctor? Mm -hmm. Every day, twice a week or not very often. Go to the doctor. Two, two twice uh, a year. Oh, wow, twice a year. You are very healthy. How often do you go to work? How often do you go to work? Every day, uh, only <laughs> every day, right? The Monday, uh, Friday. Ah, from Monday through Friday. Very good job. How often do you go? To the beach, a la playa. How often do you go to the beach class? Every day, twice a week, or not very often? Not very often. Twice yeah, a right. Year. 
not very I often. Twice a year. In my case, I guess once a year. I don't have time, you know. How often do you go to visit your parents? So, papas, how often do you go to visit your parents? Every day. Every day, okay. Twice a week, not very often. Okay, how often do you, ¿qué más hacemos frecuentemente? How often do you watch the news on television? Ven las noticias en la televisión, no que la chequen en la social yes. media. Yes. Every day. Yes. Every day, really? No, I don't, often. you know. Not very often. Not, not very often. often. Yes, in my case, not very often, you know. Yes. The millennial is his own uh, very case. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to Carlos, right? Okay. Not very often, you know. In my case, I don't watch television that often, you know. Si se fijan, entonces, preguntamos frecuencia. Mañana vamos a revisar los tres ejemplos que nos quedan para saber qué significan y cómo los usamos. Respuestas cortas. Ok, here we go. Questions, comments about the activities from today. Recuerden que para eso completamos los exercises de la plataforma, para que se den una idea cómo lo vamos trabajando y que también los completen. Questions, comments. If not, we are going to stop the class here. Thank you so much for joining today. Y espero verlos mañana. I really hope to see you tomorrow, ¿ok? See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. You Have tomorrow. a great day, teacher. Bye-bye. See you. Take care. See you. Bye, Carlos teacher. Carlos is, is baby boomer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye, class. See you. This is the problem that millennials are 